Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lignus Monster. Today, I want to talk about Star Wars The Black Series Clone Troopers. And I want to be comparing some of the newer figures that we're getting nowadays to some of the older figures that we used to get back in the day. And really compare them to see is like what we're getting now better than what we used to be getting. Quick before you get into the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down and hit the like button and subscribe because we are doing a 10 thousand subscriber giveaway because we at 10k we are giving away this commander cody and 212th trooper and there's still one week left to enter all you have to do is one make sure you're subbed to the channel and then two comment on the giveaway video it'll be pinned in the card and linked in the description right now make sure you go check that video out if you do want to enter but you do have to be subbed to the channel first so go ahead hit that like button subscribe and on to the video so first up, I want to take a look at some of the older figures that we used to be getting. So, for example, we have the Order 66 4-pack clone here. And as you can tell, this is a obviously live-action uh, rendition of the Coruscant Guard Trooper. And this one looks really, really good. I really want to uh, show off the weathering, of course. It looks like it's got, like, grass stains almost. Like, the weathering on this figure is incredible from the top of the head all the way down to the boots there are there's weathering all over this figure even the back not as much the back of the legs but the back of the helmet as well as the back of the torso there a ton of weathering and that's one thing that really made this figure shine is the weathering and then this one is hard to show on camera but the feel of the figure just feels high quality as well i know some of the other clones we've gotten in the line some of the older ones don't feel super high quality but this one feels good it's got a nice firm plastic it's got a glossy coat on it and overall it just feels like a high quality figure and we got quite a few different figures in that era i would consider that the original clone body era so obviously we had figures like gree here which had this amazing camo uh, camo paint job looking incredible. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite paint jobs in all of the line. We also did, of course, get the rest of the Order 66 4 pack with like the uh, the green one here as well as the 212th. So a lot of good figures. We even got some named ones like, of course, Fox as well as Wolf. So we got some pretty good ones. All these are on that original clone body. But again, the problem with that original clone body is the articulation. Now, this one is just from experience with my Fox. The, the joints get really loose with some of these figures, and it just gets horrible articulation. So this is as far as the elbow will bend, which is not even 90 degrees. You have the pinned joints, so it's kind of ugly that way. And overall, articulation is not the best. He can barely hold weapons with two guns, and if they do, it's in just like a generic pose like that. But then we started getting figures like Captain Rex and uh, Commander Bly. Now, Captain Rex was an older figure, but he was kind of one-off. Looking at the weathering, he has all of the weathering bits that some of those older figures has. Weathering all over the legs, torso, helmet, even the back of the figure here is covered in weathering and paint details, which I love. But on this figure, they found a way to fix the articulation. As you can see on the elbow, his elbow gets well past 90 degrees. He does have pinned joints, which is unfortunate, but uh, exact same double pinned legs as well. Uh, but they found a way to fix the elbow articulation as well as the shoulder pad so he can get in like a T-pose if you wanted him to, compared to the old ones, which can barely lift them up at all. And this one was, to be honest, the best Black Series figure ever made from the tips of the toes to the top of the head best black series figure from paint apps to face print to articulation everything this figure is the best one so far and unfortunately they only ever really used this mold for commander Bly. and again another great figure great weathering great articulation because he is on that rex body overall really really good figure and again all of these figures hold that same kind of good feel quality of plastic. Then in 2020, Hasbro released the new Clone Trooper body, first off with the Kamino Clone Trooper. He obviously had the hyper-articulated elbows, same with the legs, great articulation all the way, the, all the way around, you know, great, great articulation. It's a really good figure. One thing that definitely changed with this is the type of plastic. The type of plastic on this figure is a much softer plastic, which means it is more malleable, which is nice, but it definitely has more of that matte feel, almost a lesser quality plastic, in my personal opinion. Some people might disagree, but it definitely does not feel to the same quality as some of those older figures, which, you know, people kind of just threw up to the change of mold. They changed the plastic as well. It makes sense. But uh, me personally, I just didn't think it was that same quality. 
But one of the most notable differences is, of course, the paint apps. Obviously, he does have all of his gray paint apps. But overall, this is a Kamino clone trooper. He never leaves Kamino. He doesn't see any action. And the paint here is perfectly clean and shiny. This should be a shiny clone. And so I think a lot of people kind of just threw it up to, this is a shiny clone. He doesn't have weathering. That's a good choice because that's what it should be. That's what it's accurate to the show. So most people looked past it with this first figure here. And honestly, I think this figure is a perfect figure overall. It doesn't need any weathering. And I think it looks perfect how it is. But later that year in 2020, we did get the 332nd announced. And while, again, this one is on the beneficial body of that new 2020 clone body, it has an amazing articulation. This one was announced to have the weathered paint apps, but it doesn't have any of those nice weathering that the rest of these figures has. And I think that's the biggest downfall of the 2020 clone mold is Hasbro just completely stopped doing weathering. This figure was completely plain, like the the actual paint on the figure didn't have all these chips and scuffs i'd be fine with it i wouldn't think it needed any weathering but the fact that this is a quote-unquote battle damaged armor it has paint chips and scuffs like it's seen action it should have mud and and dirt and and weathering and so you know this was pretty disappointing and to be honest it didn't really ever get better almost every other clone that we've seen on this body has never had weathering but I think another big problem with this figure is just the paint apps on like the back of the helmet. There's nothing here. There should be a lot of paint on the back of this helmet and there's nothing. Look at the back of all these helmets. They all have paint, they all have weathering, they all have nice details. And it's something that I think is really missing from some of the newer characters is that they just don't have some of the level of detail that some of these older figures had. With the Bad Batch release of Rex, they did go ahead and revisit that Captain Rex body. And this is the exact same mold with uh, a few variations in the pauldron and helmet. But uh, this one, they missed a lot of the paint apps on the back of the helmet, as well as uh, just the quality of the plastic feels less. It doesn't feel like a high quality plastic like the older version did. But I do give them credit where credit's due. They did bring the weathering back for the most part in this figure all the way down to the feet, and it's something I really appreciate, and it's one of the only few modern figures that we've gotten that has this level of weathering. They did bring back that Rex mold a few other times, especially with this Jump Trooper, but uh, for the most part, it still has no weathering. Now this one, again, has the clean paint. It doesn't have the chips and the scuffs and uh, the scratches, and so I don't think it needs weathering. So this one, again, I give a pass because it has clean paint. It's a shiny clone trooper. But again, I, I think it's one of those where if it has scuffed paint and scratched paint, it needs to have weathering. So it's something that's pretty subtle, and I really want to know your guys' opinions. Is, is the loss of paint apps and, and weathering worth the updated articulation? Me personally, I think it's worth it because I think the articulation on that old clone body is horrible. But it's one of those where we had the updated articulation on the Rex body and we still had that weathering. So would you rather have that Rex body come back for every single clone trooper and still include the weathering? Or do you prefer the 2020 clone mold with no weathering? Or, riddle me this, would you like the 2020 clone body with weathering? And e either way, I don't know, it's just interesting to look at. It's something that's been kind of bothering me ever since 2020, whenever we started getting clones without weathering. So, let me know down in the comments, is this something you'd like to see return? And what are your overall thoughts on the topic? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.